Hey everyone, thanks for coming back to my channel. Today I wanted to film a video on some of my favorite pieces of clothing that I found thrifting. A few videos back I did a thrifted lookbook that was sort of outfits that were centered around some of my favorite pieces or current things that I had found at the time. Um, that was a little while ago and since then because I do thrift pretty often, by thrifting I mean I go to stores around where I live and I pick out clothes secondhand and if I think things are kind of unique or different or things that I've seen on Instagram I'll pick them up. But anyway I have lots of thrifted items of clothing because I do it quite often with my best friend, who you've also seen in previous videos. Hey everyone! Bye! But this is just a few of my favorite pieces that I've thrifted, so I thought I'd share with you guys. I'm just going to get right into it and I hope you enjoy. Uh, actually, before I do though, um, I'm wearing a shirt that is not thrifted, but it's a t-shirt. Um, and you can see here, yes, 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 work the garment. This is from a gentleman by the name of Silk. Um, and he contacted me on Instagram a few weeks ago asking me if I wanted to model for this collection of t-shirts that he was coming out with and they're all images inspired by a magazine released by Sir Frank Ocean called Boys Don't Cry. So this collection was called Boys Don't Drive and I was the little face so I'll probably insert a photo here. Um, anyway, other than that <laughs> Just so you know what's kind of going on down here, um, I am going to just jump right into it. So the first item of clothing that is probably one of my all-time favorite things that I've ever thrifted is this red pullover sweater, Gucci. I don't think it's real, but at the time when I found it, I just thought that it was pretty kitschy and fun, and even if it's not real, that's kind of the fun of it. I paid around six or seven dollars for it at a thrift store in Whitby called Talese. It's like my favorite thrift store ever. It's just like a red crew neck sweater and the detailing on the chest is really fun um, and bright and bold and I love the color red. Next up what I have is a sport jacket. This one is Kappa. It's a sweater like this here so you can see the detail all the way down the sleeves and you can see the emblem on the Rest as well. It's really nicely embroidered. It's like a heavyweight sport kind of fabric with a good quality zip in it. When I found this, it was in amazing condition. It was, I think, $13 or $14. So it's like on the pricier side of thrifted stuff, but it's in really good quality and it's like a track jacket. And now, when you went thrift stores, even around here in the suburbs, they're really, really hard to find. So when you do find them, they tend to be really pricey, or you can just buy them at like Urban Outfitters. The next item that I have here is something that I wear all the time, and I love it. It's so comfy. Um, it's a Harley Davidson shirt, like this one. So it's just like a plain faded black t-shirt, and the detail on the chest is like has the wolves and the Harley sign. Um, sort of glowing in the sky. It's like a moon and there's two wolves howling at it. Um, and then the picture underneath is like a man riding his motorcycle into the night. Um, it's really super colorful and then underneath it says Call of the Wild. I think it's supposed to be like in blood or like in <laughs> scratch marks or like something funny. But this was at like a consignment store actually in Port Perry called Plum Loco. They used to have this rack at the back of the store that was all Harley Davidson stuff. So I went in there one day with my mom randomly and I saw it in there and I was like, that's a really, really weird shirt. I need it. And it was probably 11 or $12. A Harley shirt, you can never go wrong. And the graphic is crazy. My next one is also definitely a fave. <laughs> Um, this is actually a newer one, and this one is from Talese as well. It's a t-shirt from Mexico, it's clearly like a tourist kind of shirt, but the graphic on it says God's busy, and then a picture of the devil, and it says can I help you in like flame writing, and then underneath it says Playa del Carmen, Mexico. So this shirt was in this 
disgusting condition when I found it. Like all kinds of weird stains and stuff. The whole bottom half actually had a stain that I couldn't get out. I ended up cutting it into like a crop t-shirt, so I think it looks really cute with like higher waist jeans. I really love the way it looks. I wore it a lot this summer. That was super cheap. That was like $2.50. Now I'm just gonna transition into my bottoms. These are like my core favorite pants that I've thrifted. The first pair, again, is newer. These are from Value Village. Um, and these are guest jeans. So they look like this. This is awful. Just like look at the clip that I'm gonna insert. That's like a standard mid blue wash. Very worn. There's some like little bits of rips on the tops of the pockets. There's the really nice leather patch on the back and then Personally, my favorite part is the guest emblem that's stitched onto the back pocket. It's white with green stitching in it and it has the question mark inside, which I think is like the super retro guest logo. To me, when I see that, it looks very vintage guest. Love the way that these are like a high rise and then they're wider in the leg. They look very 90s to me. And then in the category of vintage denim, I have another pair that I really love. I don't know how old they are because they're in fabulous condition, but these are a pair of Levi's 512s, um, and they are like a faded black denim. On the back, there's the little red tab and the leather patch. These I also got from Valley Village, and these were expensive because Valley Village really marks up brands that they know people will pay more for. If that makes sense, Levi's is one of those brands, definitely. So if you find a nice, good pair of Levi's that have a nice wash and are a good fit and they're in good condition, they'll typically run you about like 15 to $25. Like they can be really expensive for secondhand. These, at the time that I bought them, I think were around $13 or $14. So not terrible, but um, they're really, really good jeans. They're super comfy as well. I feel like these look very retro but worn. I love old denim um, and an old black pair is really cute. I really love vintage denim a lot and I could continue to buy it but I have to control myself. If you could see my denim drawer it's a nightmare so <laughs> um, this is good for now. My next and this is like one of my very favorite pairs of pants is um, these camo pants. They have a really cute like detail at the top that has these little metal sort of grommety ring things. I don't know what you would call these, but um, whenever I wear these pants, they're a little bit too big for me, so I always put like a grommet belt with it. Um, also, this grommet belt, I wear this every single time I wear a belt, I wear this. Because um, it's adjustable, you don't ever need to replace it, it will always fit you. <laughs> so... <laughs> It's just a staple for me. This was from Talese and this was a, a dollar. It was nothing. Um, and then the camel pants were from a thrift store in Oshawa called um, Vintage Depot. Um, and it's like a hit and miss kind of store for me. They have lots of stuff that's really expensive, um, but they also have stuff that is pretty reasonable. These were $14, but then they were marked half price. So they were actually seven. Um, and there's some really neat little details about them that I love and they're very comfy and they go with a lot in my opinion. The last pair of pants that I adore are these dress pants from Tommy Helfiger. These are also from Vintage Depot. These are really good find. These, when I found them, still had the tags on them. They were just old, but the tags were still on. Um, so these are like brand new. And these were about $20, but again, from that Vintage Depot place, they were marked down to half price, so they were $10. Um, so these were a really good find, and they fit me really well. The print on them is really nice, and they're lightweight fabric. Um, yeah, I really love these. The next category is shoes. Um, I've thrifted a lot of shoes in my life, actually. Yeah. Generally, I've thrifted a lot of shoes. Usually they fall apart and it's fine because sometimes you just find unique shoes that hit the spot and you just have to have them. Um, but the first pair that I am obsessed with and I wear a lot and I think these were a gem to find 
are these Nike Air Max 360s. You can see in the light, the tongue is actually like reflecting light. It's like that 3M, it reflects light. So they're really pretty. So these I found at a Tilly's in Peterborough actually, and I was there with um, a couple friends one day just randomly and I saw them and I thought they were really cool, but they were a size too big, but I bought them anyway. And I wear them a lot. I always get compliments on them because they are fire. Um, and these cost me about $17. They're in really good condition, they're a name brand, so I can see why they were marked up because still really good condition name brand running shoes. I love them. They're super comfy as well. Next pair of shoes, and this is my last, are these loafers. So they are like a patent leather slip-on, but I don't know what the brand is, to be frank. I'm not sure. They're just something that I've been wearing a lot. I feel like loafers go well with anything. Where I work, I have to wear all black, so um, these work perfectly for at work. They're comfy. They're flat. Um, they're relatively dressy. They look good with more formal pants and more casual pants. So I get a lot of wear out of them. I don't know how long these are going to last me because I only got them about a month, I want to say, ago. Um, and these are from Valley Village. Um, and I got these on a 50% day. These were like $16. But I, again, got them super cheap. They were eight bucks, the half price. So when you think about it that way, it's like genuine leather shoes. They're in okay condition. Um, they fit me and they're a style that I like. So I was just like, well, I'll just do it. So that actually wraps it up. Those are like my current favorite things that I have thrifted. If you want to see more videos about like how I style full outfits, I'll gladly do another thrifted lookbook. I would actually really enjoy doing that again. Even if you don't want to see it, I'm probably going to do it anyway because I want to make some use out of these clothes. Otherwise, that wraps up my video. I hope you guys enjoyed. So, um, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys all again very soon. Bye! I'm fine.